faith and inspirational lady and I'm coming to you today with footprints. I'm so stoked to have my guest today, Wonder Sister Soldier Petty. Both of, we're, we're veterans, can you tell? I'm <laughs> blinged out with my camo and we have camo here. But we're gonna talk about a serious subject today and that's footprints. We all have footprints. So don't you go anywhere, you stay right there because your footprint, your friend footprint is gonna determine legacy. What type of footprint do you want to leave? Let's talk about that, sister. And how are you doing today? I'm doing well. I'm excited. I'm really excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. And we talked about footprints. This is how this um, came about. The subject came about because we were sitting and we were talking about footprints. And you made such good points about footprints and how we all have different footprints and we and y'all know Fannie Mae and we're going to have scripture in this as well so to talk let's talk to uh those who are listening to us right now about footprints and the importance of it yeah so I wrote a book um the art in me mm -hmm. and unleashing it talks about unleashing the creativeness from the inside and it really is, it, it all boils down to what are, what, are, what are our footprints leaving? What is the legacy that we're leaving with our footprints? And we, we're, we're all familiar with the story of how we see footprints in the sand. Mm -hmm. And people imagine that of Jesus carrying them when they say they only seen one footprint in the sand. But we have a set of footprints as well. And I refer that to... <coughs> Our legacy because we have to carry on mm -hmm. the gifts that we have through our footprints. And so what, what will they look like when mm. we leave this earth? I like that. I love that matter of fact. Did you hear our legacies? That's our kids. Our kids' kids. Generations that we won't even see. We're leaving footprints for those generations. Are you thinking about what type of footprints you're leaving for your sons and your daughters and your grandkids and their kids and their sons and their daughters? It is important that we begin to think about legacy and footprints, the prints that we leave. Yeah, and, and it not only covers the footprints that we leave, but it's important that we be attentive and aware of where our feet are traveling. Mm -hmm. I like that. So it's like your footprints, where are you walking? What's the direction are you that you're heading? What kind of footprints are you leaving mm -hmm. and where are you going that's making an impact? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where are you headed? Where are you walking? Are you walking in chaos and leaving chaos with your mm -hmm. legacy? Hmm. Are you walking in righteousness? How are you walking? I like that. Yeah. Yeah. And if we don't think about that enough, Wanda. Yeah. We, we don't think about that enough. When we have different things and different organizations, are we just creating organizations just to create organizations? Mm -hmm. Or are you leaving footprints? Yeah. Mm. Are we on jobs just to be on jobs, living day by day just on a job? Or are we creating, creating footprints that will edify legacy, edify the kingdom? What kind of footprints are you leaving? I like that. Yeah. I do. Because that's important. Are you doing, are you leaving the right footsteps? Or are you just walking in toxic ways? Hmm, something to think. Yes. Something for you to think about. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, something to think about. <laughs> Are you just walking in toxic ways yeah. and just leaving those footprints? Now, I want to tell that I want to tell the people that uh she that Wanda Sister Soldier Petty has a media company. She has a media company called She Vet Media TV show. Uh, uh, podcast, right? Yeah, I have a podcast. She's too. also a project manager, trainer for creatives. Whoa, you're doing some things. Yeah. I salute you, my sister. <laughs> <laughs> Let's it, talk about some of these things you're doing. To me, it was important for me uh, to 
carry on not only my legacy, but I know that the gift that I have is not just meant for me. When I began to t walk my journey, I realized mm -hmm. that God wanted me to share with others how they are to take what they have in their hands. So many times we think that we're not, we're invaluable. We think that if we're not physically capable of doing something, that our mind is no good. But that's not, that's not true. Mm -hmm. So I, I believe that we have, we all have been given a gift and that we can take what's in our hands and begin to form that, create a product into it, create a, a business out of it and begin to edify God's um, earth and his people by using our gifts and, in, in, um, and inspiring them through media. Oh, that's great. Use the gifts in your hands, the gifts in your mind, even some of the gifts in your body. Mm -hmm. But use the gifts God has given you. Don't just waste it away. And guess what? Some of you are saying, well, I don't know. I don't know. Think about the things that, that make you smile, make you laugh. Think about that one thing that you'll do if no one paid you a dime to do it. Mm -hmm. Think about that one thing that you would do all night long and wake up the next morning and say, whew. Oh, I'm tired, but you you were so into it that you could not stop. You didn't have some moments like that, right? Oh, I have. We all I have moments like that. So if you're like wondering, well, I don't I don't have a gift, I don't know. We're all like Sister Soldier just said, we all have gifts. Yeah. God didn't create us without gifts. Our God is great. He will not create you, put you on this earth, and then not give you a gift. Right? Yeah, yeah. So we're all gifted. And I thank God for that. And I thank you for bringing that, we're bringing that to our remembrance, the gifts that God gave us. And the book, again, is The, the, art, the art in Me. The Art in yeah, Me. The Art the in art Me. In because me. we all have a, a certain level of creativity in us. And, and oftentimes we... As a, you know, when we were, as a child, we have that passion, like you said, mm -hmm. that we were so inspired to do it. We were happy doing it. And we were more than willing, as even as adults, most, most of the time, to do it without being paid. However, we don't look at that. We go about mm -hmm. doing everything else that someone else told us that we yeah. should do it because we had a particular training. Mm -hmm. And pre specifically, people in the military or someone who has been in a job or a career for you know, a lot of years, four years or more, and people begin to tell them that they have a certain gift, they go with that instead. Yes, and that's so important. But we're going to, I want to tell, leave you with this and then we'll be right back. Parents and guardians and those of you who have influence over people, stop directing them in the path that you think they should go and start observing what it is, those things that just make them happy. We'll be right back. This is Fanny Minnie, your inspirational, faith and inspirational lady. Stay there. We'll be back with Footprints. to the Fanny Minute Show. I am Fanny Minute, your faith and inspirational lady. And I have here with me in the studio, Wonder Sister Soldier Petty. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and we're talking footprints. Footprints, legacy. What type of footprints are we leaving? Mm. All right, and now I'm not talking about footprints in the sand, you guys, but footprints, some serious footprints. Let's continue to have our conversation, Wanda. Uh, you have quite a few things going on, and we talked about the book that's coming out, uh, and now we're going to talk about we're going to talk about the the TV show. You have a TV show uh, called She Bet, right? Inspires, yeah. She Bet Inspires. inspires. Mm -hmm. She Bet Inspires, and you have a story. I'm telling you, we don't have enough time to talk about your story. <laughs> but we're we're going to talk a little bit more about this. Yeah. Okay. How did you end up with She Bet Inspired Television Show? You know, it actually started when I was admitted into Walter Reed. 
I was injured and I ended up going to Walter Reed and I found myself among a lot of my peers who were injured and um, they were seriously injured. Hmm. Me, myself, I had a, a head injury and I didn't think that it was as severe as it was. And I ended up in that, that uh, medical unit and God placed me among them to see the pain uh -huh. that they were experiencing, the loss of limbs, the loss of careers and, and their family members having to take, with, take care of them. After being there for a while, I talked with many of the, the soldiers and airmen that were there, and I began to see that we were all feeling uh, in a state of depression because it was something that happened, impact that happened to us wow. unexpectedly that we didn't think about. And we felt like we were no longer of value, oh. mm -hmm. even though our mind was working, our physical capability was not there. And so I uh, eventually, I ended up realizing after having a nonprofit that I needed another platform to reach the women veterans to encourage them who were experiencing the same thing that I was experiencing, that we still had a value. Mm -hmm. And media was the, the best platform. And I thought that it was going to be something as a YouTube channel. But God said, no, it was going to be a television show. So thus, She Vet Inspires was launched. Yeah, That's awesome. Wounded, you went from a wounded soldier to a guru in media, mm -hmm. putting out wounded soldiers forward. Yeah. yeah. And for those of you uh, who's watching the show today and you know absolutely nothing about the military, uh, uh, soldiers uh, go off to war, and sometimes it's not war, but something happened in their lives where they're wounded, and it becomes a thing where you don't know what to do with yourself. Mm -hmm. In my case, I wasn't wounded physically, but in my case, I transitioned out of the military, and that was a difficult thing for me uh, when I transitioned out because now I felt a little lost. Yeah. Like, what do I do now? Uh, am I am I val as valuable now as I thought I was when I was that soldier uh, running and doing all those things? And why can't I run like I used to run five miles, four miles, those kind of things? And so soldiers go through a uh, diff difficult time. Sometimes soldiers go through a difficult time, especially those wounded soldiers like you talked about Going earlier, into, they, they just go through a difficult time mm -hmm. and nobody knows how difficult of time that a soldier can go through. So you developed the show, uh, She Bet Inspires, for soldiers. Yeah, for, for the military community. The military because community. Because going into the civilian lifestyle is, is, is a, it's a misfit. You know, we're, we're in our own bubble. We think that our world is what our world is. And so we've never really interacted with civilians and it becomes a misfit. And so we feel like a misfit. And it's not until you begin to hear the stories of others who have did that transition and have been successful with it mm -hmm. that they're able to realize that, you know, mm -hmm. I can do this too. So I needed a larger platform to get that word across because... Many of us were just whittling away at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it got out of the military and then didn't know what to do. Didn't know what to do. From there. Yeah. And you kind of bounce around from job to job. Some folks. Now, everybody doesn't experience this thing that comes out of the Army, but there are quite a few enough that you developed a yeah. television show to help. But everybody, I want to make that clear, uh, that every soldier in the military does not does not get wounded. Yeah. Every soldier that come out, my husband, in the example, he came out, he'd have been to wars, and, and that man is great. He do what he have to do, mm -hmm. and he's not complaining about uh, too much of anything. So every soldier don't get lost in the transition. But there are so many, too many, enough that one, the sister soldier, had to came up, you know, the yeah. Spirit of the Lord gave you this great mm -hmm. gift uh, mm -hmm. uh, to help soldiers. Yeah. And what a way, like you said, other than media. Because media is one of our seven influences, mountains of influence, the media is. And so that's a great platform that you have taken to help soldiers. Now, how? give us an example of how you help soldiers with this show. 
So I teach them how to use the platform of media to be able to uh, learn to self-express. One of the things that we, for, for anyone who've experienced any form of trauma or just life in general, we some kind of way feel like in along that pathway that we have lost our voice, that our voice isn't important. And I wanted to create a platform to teach them to be self-expressive. Yeah. So that means whatever creativity, whatever message, whatever it is that you've learned and picked up along your journey, that there is there is a purpose for that. And you can reach the multitudes and the millions by using the platform of media to do it, to inspire God's people to do what they are called to do. Mm-hmm. And listen to me, y'all. Any soldier in the world have so many stories to share. <laughs> we have some yeah. stories uh, because we get around. We go from one country to the next. We're battling in countries. We're dying in countries. We're finding, you know, we're watching our friends in countries. You know, we're just doing a lot of things. So every soldier have a story. You could probably fill your platform up <laughs> for yeah. two years yeah. uh, with just soldiers and their stories. I know it's a story. My husband told me way years later, years later, he told me this story. And I was like, what the what? He over in war and, and, and an incoming came in and, you know, they had to die for their lives. And he never told me that mm. we just in letters. And so he didn't ever tell me any yeah. of these things. And, and that's the thing, we don't yeah. share it because mm-hmm. we think that other people are not, maybe not interested or that um, it will hurt too bad to go back and revisit that. Mm-hmm. But I want to say that it's your story is a part of your journey mm-hmm. and that is really important to begin to talk about that. And the more we talk about it, the less painful it is. Yeah. And I think his thing was more concerned with me yeah. flipping out of my mind or something. Uh, and I probably would have. So I'm so happy he didn't give me those stories. But then, <laughs> 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 but I'm also like, what? Yeah, you yeah. know, you went through that. Yeah. Stay tuned. With the Fanny Minute Show. This is Fanny Minute, your faith and inspirational lady. Uh, and this show is based on faith. But stay tuned, we're, we'll be right back with Sister Soldier with Footprints. Welcome back to the Fanny Minute Show. You're a faith and inspirational lady. All right, and my guest today is Wonder Sister Soldier Penny. Let's finish our conversation, girl. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you have a project management training creators. What is that? Because everything you're doing is for the soldiers. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the military community, not just women, but women, and mainly women and men as well, right? Yeah. So talk a little it's bit about it. For the that. military community mm-hmm. and uh, creative freelancers and remote workers. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's we, we af- actually provide project management training. And in that project management training, they can become uh, working in the media. Mm-hmm. get employed working in the media through She Media Tech. So I had to develop something that was a holistic plan, mm-hmm. not to just say, okay, um, I'm going to help you get your resume together and then send you out there and hope that you find a job because that's mm-hmm. where a lot of them were yeah. getting stuck. Mm-hmm. So I needed to create something that was going to be holistic, and that means to to train them exactly on what it is that they want to do and, and that they could be useful working remotely or creating their own business in mm-hmm. that aspect. And that was media. Mm-hmm. So the project management teaches them how to manage projects in the media area. And uh, She Media Techs will help place them in employment or eventually they can start their own show with She uh, she Vet Media. And so we're talking foot, footprints here. And so when we're talking about She Vet Media, project management training for creatives, She Media Tech, which we mm-hmm. haven't even talked about mm-hmm. yet, uh, we're talking leaving not just footprints for your own legacies, yeah. but now you're helping people create those footprints for their legacies. And hopefully they pass it on to, they just keep passing it on. Mm-hmm. And before you know it, we're all 
uh, rolling in wealth and health and all those different things because I know the world the world is evolved around technology now mm -hmm. we just can't get around it no you can't we can't get you around can't. it uh, uh, we have to get do you hear what I'm saying we can't get around technology <laughs> yeah that's why it was and important I, and I said it that way because I was one of those that were just battling with it just I don't want to do all this I don't want this new program this app new this new that and now I'm you know I'm calm and I'm 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 using it. Yeah. I'm using it. I mean, thank it's, God. I, yeah. I'm, <laughs> at the time, yeah. yeah. At the time, I'm even in an incubator for for doing what I'm doing now. And in that, it's like, oh Lord, had I not calmed down about technology, I've been a stupid right now, girl. I'm just like, oh Jesus, I don't want to do this. <laughs> uh, but um, but I was already comfortable with learning technology, yeah. and so the pieces that you are teaching. Uh, individuals, especially folks coming out of the military or been in the military, especially in the, in, I would say in 1982 and the 90s, eight, the 80s and the 90s, mm -hmm. technology wasn't a real big thing for soldiers no. coming out of the military. But now, here we are here we are now, and I won't say the year, but here we are now. Uh, everything is technology. Everything live is. streaming, television is technology. Radio, live streaming, technology is all around us. So you're doing a great thing here. Uh, God has put up some greatness in there uh, for you to help uh, our soldiers transition into this world of technology. Yeah. We can't even watch the. Uh, I was looking at some new television, uh, uh, new televisions. Not trying to buy one, baby, but I've been looking at, <laughs> looking at the new television. That's a plug. I think <laughs> that was a plug, girl. That was a plug. But anyway, I see that they they already have live stream Roku, all those different channels on there that. Years ago, you would have to buy this device and go buy this and just to even look at television. So now you and I, we're sitting with our own live streaming television yeah. shows. And just think and of everything. the people mm -hmm. that you're reaching with this uh, capability. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's about. It's, it's about and spreading inspiring messages because a lot of people don't always come outside of their home. Mm -hmm. And many of them who are desiring to learn different techniques or to, to do certain things, they're not getting in touch with the, with the right people. And so by having your show, you are able to reach people and, and bring information to them like this, that they can now begin to say, you know what, maybe I can do this. Maybe mm -hmm. I don't have to do, take the path of the normal. But take mm, a like different that. route yeah, and I be like able that. to still be able to do what God called me to do. I remember one of the scriptures that led me to doing everything that I do in the midst of me being at Walter Reed and and trying to figure out how I could help my peers and, and their families because nobody wants to go from making a uh, suitable income to not to to um, nothing against working in to minimum wage. I'm just going to say minimum right, wage. Right, right. And um, I began to read uh, Joshua. Joshua mm -hmm. 1 through 9. And it talked about go and get my people and take them to the land of which I have promised them through Moses. Moses is dead now, but you are charged with this. Mm -hmm. He was telling Joshua that Joshua was charged with going to get the people and taking them to where God had promised them to their promised land. And I felt like that scripture was speaking directly to me and that I had to be, um, have to have courage to be able mm -hmm. to do that. And I was fearful. I was scared because this is an area that I wasn't familiar with, but I knew that if God was with me, he guided me the whole time I was at Walter Reed so that I could see behind the scenes, see the pain, but also see and trust him for my own situation. Mm -hmm. And by trusting him in my own situation, he showed me that he's able to do exceedingly and abundantly yes. above all that I could ever ask or think. Mm -hmm. And to see where I am today and how the passion that he's in, 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 uh, engraved in me to help his people to come out of the woodworks to to work in their passion and their vision all for his glory all for his glory. all for his glory and i want you to turn to joshua chapter one 
Uh, and I'm just going to read the first two verses, and that's what she was in, uh, uh, referencing, Joshua. Yeah. But I'm not going to read all of it because I want you to tell the listeners, I want you to uh, tell them how they can contact you and exactly how you can help them starting today. And so Joshua 1, I want you to read the whole chapter. I'm not reading the whole chapter to you because you're going to get the <laughs> Bible. You're going to read this chapter, Okay. Now, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses minister, saying, Moses, my servant is dead. Now, therefore, rise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people unto the land, which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. So I read the first two two verses to you. Now, what you're going to do? Read the whole <laughs> chapter. Read the whole book of Joshua. Yeah. Tell our yeah. audience, tell them how they can reach you and exactly what you do. Yeah. So they can reach me at shevetmedia.com. You can go to shevetmedia.com and you'll see the project management training there. You'll see how to get in touch with me, book a 15 minute complimentary uh, session so that we could talk about what your desires are, what it is that you want to do and how Shevet Media may be able to help you fulfill your call in your life to speak to the masses. You have been tuned in to the Fannie Minute Show Fanny Minute, your faith and inspirational lady. Just have faith and keep it moving. <laughs>